Season of Conquest. It's the endgame of Rise of Kingdoms. Once you're in SOC, you will have access to new events, new equipment, a KVK shop, and new commanders. Yes, it is true that with a recent update, you now have access to latest commanders in KVK3, which is the last KVK you need to play before Season of Conquest, but it's not like all commanders suddenly becomes available and you can invest any commander you want. There is still a certain order of commander releases. So today we are going to discuss the best possible commander and equipment investment order that you can follow to have the smoothest transition from the start of KVK3 to your first Season of Conquest. Let's start with the commanders. The release cycle once you get into KVK3 map goes like this. Cavalry, Infantry, Archers and Leadership. Considering the fact that there are 2 weeks or 14 days between the releases of each troop type, you will have access to Season of Conquest Archer Commanders almost at the end of your KVK3. And because of that, our main focus is going to be Cavalry and Infantry. We're gonna start with Cavalry since it's the first Wheel of Fortune that you will get. Now there is one main factor that we need to consider. Do you have Minamoto or not? If you already spent money on Mina pre-KVK3, you should definitely choose a commander from the Cavalry Wheel and make a semi-proper march that you can use throughout your KVK3. I say semi-proper because Mina clearly not as strong as Nevsky, John, QB, William or Prime Belisarius. And at this moment of time, I think the commander that you should consider investing to pair with your Minamoto is none other than Prime Joan of Arc. The best thing about Joan is that she is versatile, so you can use her either as the primary or the secondary. She has the best cavalry AoE skill, she is amazing even at 5115 or 5515, and she is I think the most future-proof cavalry commander at the moment. And a quick side note here, starting from day 1 of your Rise of Kingdoms journey, you should save all your skill resets for Joan of Arc, because it's not guaranteed that you will be able to skip the 3rd skill and the max 4th one, and that's why it's always better to have as many skill resets as possible. In a perfect world, I will get my Joan of Arc to 5115 with 190 sculptures, pair with my Minamoto, and wait for the new cavalry commander release before I max a late game commander like Nevsky, QB, etc. On the other hand, if you don't have Minamoto, you have two options based on the number of sculptures you have. You can either go for a low investment Joan and a low investment Nevsky like 5511, but option number two, which is my favorite one, for now we just don't invest any sculptures on cavalry commanders. Here's why I like the option number two a little bit more. KVK3 until the very end of it is all about ruin and altar fights. The real open field battle happens in the last zone which is Kingsland. And until the Kingsland you will have access to infantry wheel. Luce and William Wallace both are wheel of fortune commanders and paired together I think they are the best pairing for a single march at the moment. And you should keep in mind that Cavalry is the next on the list for getting new commanders. Mighty Heal Archers will be released in late September then Cavalry will be the next one. They might release a leadership or siege commanders before that, but it doesn't change the fact that between Cavalry, Archers and Infantry, Cavalry is the next. That's why unless you plan to be a Cavalry main, investing on two Cavalry commanders at this moment is I think a little bit too risky. On my restart account, I will low invest on Jones since I have a Max Minamoto and it's going to be our main march until the Infantry Wheel of Fortune. Once that's here, we will of course expand our army to two marches because as I've already mentioned, the current best infantry march is just too good to pass up. William Wallace pair with Luce. First, let's discuss the downside of this pairing. They are so goddamn expensive. Theoretically, you can get away with a 5551 William Wallace, but Liu Chi, I think, needs to be maxed because his expertise is extremely powerful. So bare minimum is going to cost you 1080 sculptures. And preferably you want both expertise, which is 1380 sculptures. But even if you don't have that many gold heads, both commanders are still usable with lower investments like 5511. Even though they are not going to perform the best, they will be way better than your current pre-season of conquest options. Now, if you already invested on a Max Alexander the Great, then feel free to skip William Wallace since Luce and Alex also works extremely well together. But in that scenario, you 100% want Luce expertise as the extra basic attack from that skill can trigger Alexander's 1700 direct damage factor. If you've been following our restart account series, I personally saved all my sculptures since day one on my restart account. At the moment, I have around 1600 and I have not invested on Alexander the Great. So most likely, I will be going for the William Wallace and Liu Che march. So with these investments, we are going to have a semi-proper cavalry march and an absolute beast of an infantry march. The next Wheel of Fortune is going to be Archers, but as I've explained in the beginning of the video, they come so late into KVK. I believe the best thing to do is holding on to your legendary sculptures until your first Season of Conquest fight starts. This way you will have plenty of time to collect sculptures and see the actual field results and overall performance of the upcoming Mighty Heal Archers and find out if they are actually better than the current best Archer Commanders 
which are Zhuge Liang and Herman Prime. The only exception would be if you already have an expertise YSG and you want to make use of him even at the end of the KBK3, my investment choice would be Prime Herman instead of ZL even though I think ZL is definitely the better commander simply because Herman provides the march speed and can be used as 5551 while Zhuge Liang's true power comes with his expertise. Since I didn't invest on Yi Song as well, that's personally what I will do on my restart account. Start the KVK3 with one march, which will be John Prime and Minamoto, then expand to two marches with Infant Reveal, Wallace and Liu Che, and start saving for the next best cavalry commander so I can pair it with Joan and spend the rest of the sculptures on the current best archer march at that time on the first fighting day of our KBK4 which is of course the first season of conquest. Now since we got the commanders out of the way let's discuss the equipment transition for our marches. Starting with the cavalry, two slots will be filled with placeholder equipment until we get into season of conquest. A special talented heart of the saint and talented blue helm. Because for these two slots, we 100% want the KBK weapon and KBK helm from the Season of Conquest shop. We'll be using Epic Legs and Epic Glows for a long time since both items give really good amount of stats once they are special talented. Only two legendary pieces in total and those are going to be the set chest and set boots. They give health which is amazing and we get an extra bonus due to having two pieces from the set. So this I think is the bare minimum cavalry set but of course eventually you want to get this one once you have the materials and the blueprints. The reason why we are skipping Navar's Control and Ash of the Dawn even though they are very accessible because we unfortunately don't have unlimited materials and we want our infantry and archer equipment if we invest on an archer march to be at least on the same level of the cavalry one. So once we got this set, we can move to infantry. Bare minimum is going to be blue shield, set helm and set glows, hope cloak, karax humility and frost threats. Of course preferably we want all non-legendary pieces with special talents and the reason why we go hope cloak and set helm is because epic infantry chest and helm pieces giving us attack which is the least desirable stat so we want to replace them as fast as possible. And since we have the set helm we of course want to have one more equipment from the set to get the two pieces set bonus and the reason why we are choosing glows over the boots or weapon is because Blue weapon is extremely cheap but gives really good amount of health plus Shield of the Eternal Empire is the most expensive set piece and it will set us back 90 legendary materials which is a little bit too much for the transitioning stage. And for the boots since we are already using the legendary blueprint choice chest for our cavalry march we need to go with the infantry set glows for two pieces set bonus. So this is going to be our transitioning set for infantry and the end game goal is going to be 4 pieces from the set for that extra 10% movement speed bonus. And if you invested on an archer march I think Milky Way is going to be the only legendary you need at first. Rest could definitely be special talented epic since all of them give really good amount of health or defense. I might be wrong about this one but I think this is currently the best archer set possible. It still gives decent amount of attack but ton of HP and defense thanks to leadership equipment. So this in my opinion is the best and the smoothest way to transition from the start of the KVK3 to your first season of conquest. Let me know if you have anything to add or any questions. Subscribe for more non-30 minute Rise of Kingdoms videos and I'll see you on the next one.